Howdy friends, it's Kathy from uh, Rust Paper Scissors and I want to welcome you back to my channel. I want to do a little tutorial today. Uh, recently I twisted my ankle and uh, I took the day off and was uh, just binge watching a bunch of uh, videos and I came across Wendy's Journal Adventure and some of the things she had done and she was making, I believe she called it a, called it a tri-fold flip. And uh, she made it out of a single piece of paper that she folded in thirds and then added a flip over the top. And I was thinking, well, you know, I think you could do that with a file folder. And so um, I set out for the rest of the day trying to figure out how to make this. So I made mine uh, out of a file folder and uh, just wanted to uh, show you maybe a quick tutorial on how I did it, then I want to flip through them. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to make these is I've been thinking for a while I wanted to do a little starter kit for my, my rusted elements for somebody using a junk journal. So there are several rusted elements in the little trifold flip and then along with the um, trif the little folio or whatever you call it, trifold flip, you get a kind of a little starter set of uh, rusted elements. So I'll go all through that later, but I just wanted to quickly show you this. It flips up and then uh, this flips open and then it flips open that way. And that's what Wendy had made. And this is just, uh, you know, my take on it. And I uh, wanted to show you how I did it. So hold on just a second and I'll get set up here to show you. Um, this is an old table of my mom's, and it has a stain on it, so I didn't want the stain to show. But I, this is where I filmed, so I wanted to just kind of cover that up. I wanted to tell you what I did was I took a manila file folder. And the reason, one of the reasons I did that was because she talked about needing a little extra room. So the file folders gives you the option to make a spine, and I'll show you that in just a second. But it gives you a little extra room because you know how our junk journals kind of get gator mouthed. These get a little big. Also, I didn't want to do any math, so I just tried to make it as simple as possible. What I did was I cut it down, and then I scored it in uh, for three sections, and uh, just cut out some sections. It was really pretty easy. On the file folder, this edge is not equal with this edge. So what I did was I cut along this uh where this end is just because I wanted to make my file folder as long as possible and I'll show you what it does it leaves just a little bit of the edge cut off but you you know it doesn't matter and you can fix it but I'll show you what I'm talking about right here see how it leaves that little uh, divot but I wanted the extra room in my uh, file folder and then what I was talking about making the spine, on the file folders, there are already scored lines like at a quarter inch, half inch, three quarter inch. And that's what I'm talking about. I, I folded it at the um, quarter inch to make a quarter inch spine, and that just gives you some extra room. Then all I did was, um, once I cut it down, I took my scoreboard and I, I didn't want to do any math, so uh, I just, what I did was, let me pull this back just a little. Uh, I scored it at the four inch, and then let me make sure I, my, my thing has a divot in it. I score at the four inch, and I go down as long as I can, and then I scored at the eight inch. Okay, so that gives me two four inch panels and one panel about three and uh, three quarters inch. But to me, that was just easier than um, doing the math to figure it out. So again, I flipped it over and I score at the four and then at the eight. And that's all you have to do. And then the other thing I did was on the bottom, the one with that has the pre uh pre-scored lines. I used that as my bottom, and I just 
uh, scored at the one and a half inch, and that's going to make the bottom uh, little uh, pocket. So I just scored there. Okay. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out here and here, and then that's going to give you your flip. This is what it's going to look like. Let me show you. I have, a, I have an example of uh, this one's already done. So this is the fold up. This is the panel that doesn't quite come all the way over to the edge. And then this one goes to the edge. So this is the four inch, the four inch. And like I say, that's about three and a half. Let's see. One, two, three. Yep, three and a half. Okay. And then this I haven't done anything with because on the on the ones I made, I folded this uh, part up. And then the only other thing I do is I... Um, try to, uh, I'm going to fold on the, the, that pre-scored line at the quarter inch. I'm going to fold that and do that. It's a little harder on TV than it is in real life. Or not TV, what is this YouTube filming? It's just a little bit harder to... I guess if I had a ruler or something, it would be easier. Let's see if I use my little score board. That just helps fold it. All right, there we got it. Okay. Where there's a will, there's a way. All right, and then um, let's, fold, let's fold on these score lines, and let's see if we can get right to the line. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then I just burnish it down, and then see how it, it doesn't quite come to this edge, but I'll show you again on this one. This is the 4 inch. Okay. Okay. And then I won't fold up that bottom uh, till I finish. Um, then the next thing you do is I'm going to cut out these uh, side panels. And uh, I'm just going to cut with my um, little, am I in frame? Yeah, I think so. Let me move this back up and see if you can see a little bit better. I'm going to uh, cut on that um, where it, it's going to leave a quarter inch. So I'm going to cut on that line. So it's not the first line, it's the second line you want because you want that extra um, room for your, um, let's see if I can get it straight here. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut on this score line. Let's turn my cutting board. We're going to go down this line and see if I can get it straight right on that line. And I kind of got a little bit off, but this is just an example. And then I saved these, uh, I saved this and I will use it uh, as a tag for inside the journal. And then let's come over here and see if I can do a little better job of cutting a little straighter. When I first did it, I cut it on my um cutting that with a cutter and that was a disaster so this is going much better even though i got a little bit off just have to really hold your ruler straight and then it cuts so this cutter really cuts well okay i hope i didn't cut my um Okay, and then you just, like I say, you save that and make a tag out of it. And so now you have your um, bare bones um, three-fold flip. And then this is just um, doing this. So this folds this way, and then this folds this way. And then I would, I would fix that. And then that's your cover. So very easy. The only other thing that uh, Wendy did was um, when you fold these um, this um, flat or pocket up 
it's kind of, that's kind of bulky. So what she did was she just cut a little sliver. Let's see if I can show you off the edge here. And that just makes it a little easier to fold them up. So see, when you fold them up, you have a little bit more room to fold your. So that's another little tip that she shared. And like I say, I'll link her, her video below because she really does a great job. But we're just going to cut just the tiniest little bit off there. And then uh, it just makes it easier to fold them up. And uh, that is our uh, three flip. Uh, I'm going to call it a three flip three uh, flip folio and then you have your little uh, spine there that you can uh, just just make it. so you have a little a little gusset there a little spine and that's that's it so that was pretty quick so that was um, the uh, tutorial and then I'll just go through uh, these really quickly and then I'll go through the little package of uh, rusted elements that you get but this is the little Christmas one I added the rusted jingle bells on the side and I added a little rusted bulb pin and a little uh, rusted jingle bell the reason I only made one Christmas one was I don't have a lot of scrapbooking papers I usually just use um, you know different pages in my books uh, it's usually not scrapbook paper so I didn't have a lot but I did have this one set so I made this so this is just a um, little uh, pocket you can have on the front and then you flip it open and then this is a little it's some kind of paper clip and uh, I tried rusting them but I believe they're stainless steel and they didn't rust very well and then the other thing, they were very tight when I, I got them. So I kind of opened them up a little bit. And now they're almost too loose. So I haven't sold those in my shop. But I used it here just to show you something else and something different. If I can get it back on there. There we go. So that's just that. And then this was just some uh, ribbon twist paper. And I made a little tuck spot. And then these are just, like I say, or maybe I didn't say, uh, this. these folios are uh, very naked. They're blank, you know, for you to um, embellish. So some of the tags and stuff are just very pretty blank. And then you open it up, and then this was just that uh, folded up. I added a little red there. This is just another um, duck hair clip that I rust and so I added that and you get some in the um, kit that comes with it this is just a I haven't started selling these in my shop but I really like them I don't really know what they're called I don't have the box in front of me uh, but I added that on there uh, and I gave I give some of those in the the kit but that's just a, a little journaling spot and then just a little um, book uh, library card and uh, a index card and then a little guest check and I had those clipped together on the side there and um, then these just go down in there and then this is the other side that I have one of those little uh, paper clips on and then you open it up and again uh, this center part here is just two blank tags that I added and then this was um, three little tags that I added and uh, they're just journaling spots for you and then a, a large rusted uh, paper clip so that's that so that's that one and uh, it's very um, simple but uh, I wanted to highlight some of the rusted elements so that's the Christmas one and then I made uh, I challenged 
myself to just use what I had kind of on my desk. And so uh, I didn't have any ink out, so I didn't ink any of these pages. I just used a book page and music page and uh, some digitals that I had on my desk. So I'm hoping to, at the first of the year, make a journal. Uh, I wanna do a peacock journal. I have a beautiful brooch uh, that has rhinestones on it that I got at a thrift store and I thought it'd be beautiful on the cover of a, so maybe a nature themed or a bird themed uh, journal. So that's, that's what I had on my desk. And so that's why it kind of has a bird or butterfly theme. Uh, I forgot to mention, I added just some um, sari silk on the top just to kind of cover up the spine. And you can see the spine there and there. And in the back, this is just some music paper, or not music paper, old math paper. And then this is just the front. Again, I used those uh, paper clips so you could open that up if you wanted to. You could take it off if you wanted and then inside I just added three blank tags and uh, I thought those were really pretty and then you just slip them back down in there and then again it folds up you could add more tags there with those would hold it on uh, I added just a little belly band this is a rusted ribbon crimp that I sell and it's just a quick way to uh, make a belly band and then again there's a duck clip this is just uh, a couple of tags that I inserted an old uh, dictionary page and then just a guest check and that's just to show it's a belly band it goes kind of under that paper clip and then I added on the side I added the little duck clip and then on the inside this one I lined the um, whole uh, inside with uh, some ledger paper so you could journal all along here and then on the fold up I just added some more ledger paper there just to make it kind of cohesive this is just a little coin envelope uh, two blank tags this is again a um, uh, a little butterfly tag that I'd made a long time ago and up some more dictionary page. This is an old map uh, page that, uh, and oh, and I put the uh, ledger paper on the back. And then I thought, well, you know, if you were a bird watcher, you could pretend like this was the map to where you went to watch your birds or whatever. I know that's kind of silly, but anyway. Uh, and then this was just a blank tag. I'm not good at making up the stories I watch. Uh, Heather at Ruby and Pearl, and she makes these darling stories about the lady of the house, and uh, she just makes it sound wonderful, and I, I, just, I just don't have that ability. So uh, this is just the other tags that go on that side, just three little blank tags that I added for you. And again, you could use them in another journal if you wanted. And then this was a fold over. This is... Um, just a little corner spot that I made with some uh, sticky back to velvet. I got this new color and I really love this color. It's a, they call it marine blue and I really liked it. And then I just added three little tags that I thought went with the blue. Um, little tuck spot. And then, uh, then like I said, the back was just some blank music pa uh, blank uh, arithmetic paper that I used on that side too. I just folded it over. And so that's that. that so that's that one. And then the last one is, uh, again, kind of a nature themed. Um, I added the little paper clips on the side here to hold the flap up. I added some corrugated cardboard and then just a digital and then two little digital uh, prints that had bees and flowers on them. So I added that and then you open it up and that's some uh, arithmetic paper. This is some um, shorthand paper from a book my mom had. So this is probably from the 40s. Uh, again, I added the ribbon crimps and made a little belly band. This is just two little um, tags held together with a rusted paper clip. And then uh, that one had some stain on the back, but I just left it. That's the way it was. 
and then this is just a plain tag. I, I like this one because it said Daisy, and the other one had some flowers on the front, so I thought that kind of went together, and then that just slips in there, and there's your rusted um, hair clip. I use them as paper clips. I love them, and then this is just another uh, digital that I um, printed. I had on my desk, and then this is just a butterfly, and then just, again, they're plain. This is the fold over, and I just I had added a guest check as a background, and then I added this little digital uh, as a side tuck, and then just a blank tag. These tags are uh, vintage. I got them in an, a, a, a thrift store, and then this one I used the sticky back velvet for the fold up part. Again, I just did one page of an old ledger. This is from like the early 1900s, this ledger paper. And then these were just two little tags that I added. And then again, I added this tag and uh, the book page. So it's, it's very simple, but uh, I wanted, really what I was hoping to do was to highlight highlight some of the rusted elements that I use and uh, that's why I made those and then with each of the uh, little fold over folios you get a I call it a starter kit a rust starter kit but you get two of these metal prong fasteners I use these in all my journals it's a, a way to add pages uh, and you can add and take away. It's just a, a neat way to use those. If you look at any of my other videos, you'll, you'll usually always see that I have one of those in my um, journals. And then this is just a little bag of uh, rusted elements. I uh, included some of the fender washers. I like to use those on tags as like the reinforcer. And then I added... Since there were three of those, I added three of the rusted brads to go with them. And then um, I added, I included two ribbon crimps in case you wanted to use those. And then a lot of times on my um, journals, if it's a small journal, I will use the D-ring fasteners as the, the closure and I thought I had a piece of ribbon, but it doesn't, here it is. Uh, I just put that through the D-ring fastener and that's my closure. I can do it one-handed and then it would go down there and then it, it closes. So that's the, the D-ring fastener. And I included two of those and the brads that go with them. So that all comes in the little pouch or the plug plastic bag, I should say. And then um, I included some, um, oops, I'm trying to get those to lay a little flatter. I included a rusted bulldog clip, a mini rusted bulldog clip, a, um, oh, what is that? It's a mini binder clip, that's what it's called, mini binder clip. And then this was a duck clip that's a hair clip that I rust. And then this is another duck clip, you know, hair clip. Then I, I included five of the bulb pins. I included five small rusted paper clips. I included three of, I don't know what these clips are called. And then I included five of the large paper clips that are rusted. And then I also have this, I think this is called a butterfly clip. I haven't started selling those. I have those ready to go in my shop, but I just don't know. I would appreciate your comments if people thought they would like that I can include those in my shop. Again, I haven't listed these in my shop or the bulb pins, but I hope to very soon, um, the rusted ones. So that all comes with uh, each of the little folios. So... Um, they will be for sale in my Etsy shop, and I, I think I'll call them, uh, let's see this one. I think this one would be, Chris, uh, you know, Chris Santa, let's call him Santa. And then uh, 
let's call this one um, just nature. And then this one will be bees. And uh, like I say, you get a um, starter kit with uh, each of the folios. Um, and I would appreciate your comments. Let me know what you think about the uh, different items that I've used. If I should start selling those in my shop, I would appreciate that information. Just kind of what you think. Um, this was kind of a quick little project, but it was a lot of fun. Easy to do. I hope you'll try it. Uh, I will list Wendy's tutorial below because she does a, a fantastic job. And I just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to do another video. I hope so. Uh, I forgot to mention, I have found a group of junk journalers who meet and uh, make items. And what I want to do, they uh, don't have any, uh, I believe, social media like YouTube or an Etsy shop, but they do some amazing work. So I would like to highlight some of their uh, projects that they've done, and then I wanna would like to video us, you know, maybe working on some things together. So I'm hoping to do that little series, uh, maybe beginning in January, and uh, just wanted to mention that 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 should be coming up on my channel. Uh, again, I wanna wish uh, everybody a merry Christmas and a happy new year and thank you for your your support and uh, i would appreciate if you hit the like button or subscribe or give me a comment please i would appreciate that thank you